Hi everybody, it's Teresa. Um, okay, so a cycle update. Today is cycle day 15. Um, the cycle that I got pregnant with Eli, I got my positive digital OBK on cycle day 14. Um, I've been taking them since cycle day 10. Um, not for TTC reasons, but just because I want to know for future cycles what day I ovulate on now post-pregnancy. And I know that the first cycle might be kind of weird. Um, like it's already cycle day 15 and I haven't got my positive yet. Um, I'm not sure if anybody uses the clear blue digital OPKs, but they either have a smiley face for um, the luteinizing hormone surge or um, just a blank face, like just a circle if there's no surge. Um, so they're pretty like black and white. There's no kind of, is this line as dark as the other line like there is with the strip OPKs. Um, these tests do have a strip inside them, but they don't follow the kind of rules of the normal OPK. Like they don't, the two lines don't have to be as dark for them to be positive. You just go by whatever the readout is. But they do get darker and lighter um, before, during, and after your LH surge. So I'll just show you what say the last three look like that I've took. Um, I have been having EWCM, so I know that um, things are going in the right direction of um, towards ovulation. Um, but I haven't had ovulation pain and I haven't had a positive OPK yet but the tests have been getting darker um, and just to say one more time that before you say oh those tests aren't even near positive there are strips from inside digital OPKs so they aren't meant to look the lines aren't meant to be the same darkness okay so these are the tests here as you can see this top one is almost non-existent, then a line, and then on this last one, it's getting even more, um, it's getting even darker. So I'm going to do this one live, um, it's an evening test, um, and I'm just going to leave it focused on the test. So what I have is a plain one of these. They match up, you can see here, like this, and this little thing here comes up to tell you that it's ready to um, go, and you can take this out. So I'm going to dip now, um, I'm not going to show you that part, <laughs> so I'm just going to count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you click the cap back on, and then in a couple of seconds it should start um, flashing to say that it's working. There we go. So um, the main reason that I'm actually doing this video, apart from just to kind of throw a live OPK test out there, is just to show people who haven't used these tests just how long they actually take for the results to come up. It does feel like a lifetime and if you're watching this you'll probably end up just fast forwarding to the end because they do take forever. But it's just to show you that when you're doing these on a daily basis that they are kind of um, time consuming. They don't just um, pop up straight away and you can't um, come back to it later in the day because there is, once the result pops up um, it only stays up for eight minutes and that is so that this little um, digital reader that the battery is preserved is preserved and lasts for all 20 tests that come in the pack. Um, a digital pregnancy test is different. The battery lasts for 24 hours so after one day it will go blank whereas these ones switch themselves off after eight minutes um, just so you can you know, use all of the tests that are given to you. So we'll let that work away. Um, I don't um, think that this will be positive yet um, because my period was longer than the periods I would have had uh, pre-pregnancy. I know that um, that will have delayed ovulation by a couple of days at least. So I am happy that the lines are getting darker and going in the right direction. So um, providing that I do ovulate the cycle it's only a matter of time before I get a positive test. Um, but yeah, let's just, <laughs> let's let the test run.
Okay, so as you can see, that's a negative, which is what I like about these tests. They're very, very um, accurate, I suppose, or there, there's no kind of, just like, a di just like a digital pregnancy test where you're not trying to figure out if there is a second line or not, it just says pregnant or not pregnant. This also, you're not trying to decipher is the line as dark as the other line. Um, however, I'm still going to do what I always do and I'm going to match this up with the other ones just to see. And I can already see it's so much darker than the last one that I took. Um, so I'll just bring you over. And also, these keep developing for a few more minutes so it'll get darker again. Okay, so you can see there from the first one, where am I? From the first one all the way down to the fourth one, that there has been progression. So that's my live um, digital uh, OPK. Um, the reason I'm doing this in the bathroom isn't because, um, well, maybe for the obvious reason, but also just because it's night time and my camera won't film in HD um, in any of the other rooms at night time because they're too dark. So that's it for now um, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.